Like it's Holly and today we are going to be taking a look at what we can expect in the upcoming stages of Europa League as well as the chances of a battle between Kylian Mbappe and the almighty Vladimir Soufal. If you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. We have got a very very exciting December coming your way and all is going to be revealed very soon so stay tuned for that and of course if you enjoy this video please leave us a comment and give us a little thumbs up. So let's get started. First we're going to run through the format for anyone that isn't aware. So in the Europa League, if you finish top of your group, you go straight through to the round of 16. But if you finish second in your group, you play against one of the teams that drops down from the Champions League. The teams dropping down from the Champions League are those that finish third in their group. And while often there are one or two hard teams that might have a bit of a shocker and therefore drop down, there is still a lot to be decided in the Champions League with this new format, with one game remaining for Group E and H and two games remaining for Groups a to D, no, for E to H. So basically, half of them have played four games, half of them have played five games, six in total to play. But by the end of tonight, all teams will have played five games. So there will be one game left to determine which teams drop down to face Europa League teams. Now, where do we sit? <laughs> the great news is that we are definitely progressing to the next stage of the Europa League. And we're currently top of our group, which is all wonderful. But Freiburg are hot on our heels and they're not messing around. We both sit on nine points with the head-to-head -head result being what is keeping us currently above them after our 2-1 win. However, their goal difference is better than ours and we are yet to face them um, one more time when they come to us for the final game, game of the group stage. Um, so that will basically be determining everything. The best thing we could do is batter back to Polar. It's not very easy to say, to grow our goal difference while also hoping for a Freiburg loss. Then if we can outscore Freiburg when we face them, we will officially be safe, top of our group, happy, and I would say relaxed, but that is never the case with West Ham. But basically, it's all going to go down to the last minute, so we face a lot of fun in the coming weeks. But basically, we just want to do everything in our power to finish first, because second means that we face a tougher journey as well as an extra fixture, which we just don't need at the moment, do we? So who could we face? If we do finish second... Here is who we could face in the Champions League. Obviously, still to be completely confirmed. And interestingly, there are some very big opponents that have the potential to finish third, therefore dropping down to face us if we finish second. Hope that will make sense. Very, very confusing format, to be quite honest. So I'm going to run you through some little slides so you can see how they're all getting on. Now, as you can see from these tables, in Group A, it's incredibly close. And while Copenhagen are currently second, there is the potential for Galatasaray or Man United to drop down. Third place in Group B is also up for grabs, with any of the teams technically being able to finish there. But again, some tough teams in there. Then we have got Group C and D. Now, they're looking a little bit more certain. There's a couple of teams running away with it a bit more. But again, two games does have the potential to put Napoli into the third place spot. Then for Group E, we have Feyenoord currently sitting third, which would not be an easy opponent. And as for Group F, this group is pretty terrifying. Last night's last minute equaliser, for anyone that didn't see it, means that there is a bit of a gap between Newcastle and PSG. But there is everything to be settled in the final game of their group, which brings me to chat about a potential scenario that we definitely wouldn't have expected to see a few years back. And that is the possibility possibility of a Soufal versus Mbappe battle. A little bit of a scary thought. Not sure how the pace would weigh up there. Slightly scary. But nonetheless, we find ourselves in this mad position. And in this group, going back to it, a lot could change with any of AC, Milan, Newcastle and PSG having the chance to take second spot and any of them being able to finish third. So knowing our luck, we would draw one of them if we ended up finishing second in our group. And finally, Group G looks a little bit more predictable with Man City and RB Leipzig running away with it. However, Red Star Belgrade have the chance to finish third if they can get a win and improve their goal difference, if young boys lose, that is. <laughs> and as for Group H, again, technically any of the top three could finish third, depending on the results of their final fixture, which means we could also see Barcelona, Porto or Shakhtar Donetsk drop down. And as you can see from the form of the teams in all of these groups, it's not been very predictable so far. It's unlikely to be that predictable, with only Bayern, Real Madrid and Man City winning all of their games so far. So now we basically, we wait to find out which teams will take third place in their groups and therefore drop down into the Europa League. But 
here is hoping that West Ham can just finish top of our group so we don't have to worry about the inevitably horrible team that we get drawn against if we finish second. And again, it all comes down to our remaining two Europa League games. Away against Bacchus Polo tomorrow, first of all, massive one that we need to win. And then at home to Freiburg on the 14th of December. So there we have it. It is time to take this into our own hands, take the power back and just end the group stage on two wins. Make it nice and seamless. Nice and just free. Do we reckon we can do it? I reckon we can actually do it. I don't know where this confidence comes from. We love a little bit of European football, don't we, though? So I'm saying we can do it. But let me know your score predictions for both of those games. So against Baka Tupola and Freiburg in the comments. I want to know, do you think we can finish top of our group or... Have you lost hope? <laughs> Drop us a comment. Let us know what you're thinking. That is all from me for now, but tune in again later where I'll be running through today's Hammers headlines, talking about the biggest stories and all the stuff that's going on around West Ham. So thank you so much as always for watching and until next time, come on you irons. <laughs>